and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Elle. This is the place where you'll find food, fashion and DIY tutorials dished out to you step by step. So if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead now and click on the subscribe button below to get notifications whenever I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at all things with Elle. In this video, I will be showing how I make moi moi step by step and sharing tips to achieve a moist and tasty moi moi. Ever wondered how to peel beans real quick? I've got the answer for you in this video, so do stay tuned. Moi moi is a traditional Nigerian dish. It is a delicious savory steamed beans pudding made from a mixture of blended beans, peppers, onions and spices. So let's see how it's prepared. Here is one of my favorite quotes from someone special to get us started. Before using beans to cook anything at all, the first thing I do is I saw through the beans. I am certain this is not the only way or even the best way to clean dry beans, but it works for me. If you know of a better way, please comment below. So first, I dump some of the beans on my kitchen tray. Then I use my fingers to push them into a clean pile while pushing the rocks and dirt to the side. Then I pour the clean pile into a bowl ready to use. Simply soak the beans in water for half an hour. It could be more, it could be less, but that will depend on the type of beans you're using and how dry the beans is. In my experience, drier beans tend to be ready for peeling faster than the less dried beans. Once the skin of the bean starts wrinkling a little bit and the skin comes off easily, then the beans is ready for peeling. Place the beans in a blender and add twice as much water as the beans, that is in volume. Credit to my sister, Hannah, for this tip. She saw my Akara video and suggested that I try this method instead. Uh, thanks sis. Pause the blender about 3-4 to four times to agitate the beans. This process breaks the beans up and separates the skins of the beans from the beans themselves. Pour the beans back into a large bowl and add enough water to fully cover the beans. Now agitate the beans with your fingers and the skin will float. Then quickly separate the skin from the beans by pouring through a sieve as shown in the video. Repeat this process until you have achieved skinless beans. Now that the beans are clean, soak them in water for at least one hour or until the beans are soft. Soft peeled beans are easier to blend and it prevents the moi moi from becoming grainy. Ingredients and the measurements will be listed in the description box below. I like using this type of dried crayfish because of the flavor it adds to the moi moi. However, the problem is that sometimes it feels like I'm chewing on sand because I've added the head of the crayfish. So, here I'm picking the crayfish to make sure that that problem doesn't happen. But stay tuned to see how I use everything including the head. In the meantime, let's boil some eggs. What we want to achieve is hard boiled eggs. So we're going to be cooking this for 10 to 12 minutes. Here I'm preparing the onions and the peppers that I'll be blending with the beans. Hold on now, set this aside. The beans has been soaking for over half an hour now, so I'm just going to do a quick check by using my fingertip to break the beans. Looks to me that it's ready, so we're going to go ahead and blend now.
The eggs have been boiling for just over 10 minutes, so let's drain the water now and add some tap water to stop the boiling process. Now back to the crayfish. Blend the crayfish head with some water until smooth. Then carefully sieve or drain into the beans mixture and leave out the sediments. Mix in the remaining ingredients except the boiled eggs. Next add meat stock to intensify the flavour. You will never find me using meat stock on the day that it is made because I like to remove the fat as seen in the video before using it. So what I always do is on the day the meat stock is made, I store it in the fridge or freezer for some days to allow the fat to settle at the top. Here I'm going to heat up part of the meat stock in the microwave. And this is what you get. Also I'm going to heat up the corned beef to melt the fat. If you have a powerful blender that can blend your beans to a really smooth paste, then you may want to skip the next step. Now I'm going to use my hand mixer, just like in Akara recipe, this is an important step and this will introduce air into the batter, which will in turn give the moi moi a good texture. We want the mixture to resemble the texture of a light cake batter. You can taste the mixture to adjust for salt. Altogether, I have added about 2 teaspoons of salt. Prep the containers by brushing each one with oil on the inside like you would for a cake pan. I will be showing you two ways that I make my moi moi. The first method is by baking the moi moi in the oven. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 175 degrees Celsius. Fill an oven tray with water till it's about 1 inch deep. Fill each container with the mixture till it's half full. and then top it with a slice of egg. I remember growing up in Nigeria, the native method of cooking moi moi involves wrapping the steamed beans batter in leaves, called ewe erong, or moi moi leaves as other people might call it, and steam it in a pot of water. But nowadays, moi moi can also be made using small tins, foil cans, aluminium foil, baking pans or even bags, but the moi moi made in moi moi leaves locally called moi moi elewe, always tasted better because of the flavor the leaves add to the moi moi taste. The water should not be more than halfway up the containers. Place the tray in the oven. The second method is by cooking the moi moi on the hob. Line the base of a deep pot with either foil paper, sticks, or leaves. As I don't have any of this, I will do without it. So, pour water into the pot till it is about 1 inch deep. Arrange the moi moi inside the pot. The water should not be more than halfway up the containers. Cover the pot and allow it to steam on medium heat. Be sure to check the water level at every 15 minutes to prevent the moi moi from burning and top up the water as required. This should take about 15 minutes to 1 hour depending on the quantity of the moi moi mixture in each container. Here I'm just moving the containers around so the top containers go to the bottom and the bottom containers come up to ensure that the moi moi is well cooked.
After 15 minutes, check the moi moi, just like a cake. A fork inserted into the middle of it should come out clean. If it doesn't, allow it to continue steaming for another 10 minutes. It looks like it's gonna need another 10 minutes to cook. This Nigerian beans pudding is a common staple that you will find in most Nigerian patties or even Nigerian homes. Moi Moin is commonly eaten on its own as a main dish with a side of gari, pap, which is called ogi or kamu, or as a side with jollof rice or rice and stew or fried rice. Here I'm just showing you the outcome of the two cooking methods. Now let's see what they look and taste like. Allow the moi to sit for 5 minutes, then serve warm in the container or on model. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like the video and leave a comment below if you've tried it. Also while you're here, why not take a quick second and subscribe to my channel to get notifications of my new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you've loved watching my video, you have my permission to share with friends. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.